actually that was leading to you walked right into my second question <laughs> for you which was what are your thoughts on how teachers can recognize the strengths and abilities of students of color absolutely i think that um a lot of the times teachers in general uh, see students and they have their you know, pre-biases, as every human being does, not just teachers, of course. Uh, you look at anybody, not just a student, and you think something about them, whatever, that positive, negative. And I think being able to recognize, and this goes for anybody in any profession, but specifically applying it to teachers, looking at your student and realizing that their, the color of their skin is not going to impact if they can learn and like if, if they're gifted, if they can be accelerated, what they need is not impacted by the color of their skin. So looking at them and seeing that, realizing that maybe you're thinking, oh, you know, you know, this student is more eligible for gifted and talented than this student. Question why. Almost everything that you're doing, you should question why. And don't, the question, the answer should never really be, I'm not sure, or obviously it shouldn't be because of their skin tone. So if you find yourself, if you notice that answering, when you're answering these questions of why is this student more eligible for gifted and talented than this student, it should be a legitimate reason. Like, just whatever reason is legitimate, it shouldn't be their color. So the, the being able to, like, take, it, it easier said than done, of course, but step back and look at how you're teaching your classroom and how you look at your students as a healthy way to try to help, you know, yourself evolve. Can I take you to my district and to all around the country basically because I think a lot of people need to hear your message.